Hi, my name is Faisal Khan. I want to talk today about what Circle is doing and how a lot of money transmitter, you know, money services businesses and money transmitter license holders are taking advantage of it. As you know, Circle is the issuer of USDC, presumably, I think, the largest stable coin in US dollar that there is. Uh, they are one of the most well reputed, well regulated, well audited. Uh, issuer of USDC, the US dollar on the blockchain, which they call USDCC standing for circle. And if you're an MSB, you can actually take advantage of it. So let me tell you how, what, what's happening. So let's say you're an MSB based out of Florida. You would sign up with circle. Circle will give you banking instructions. So now you have a quote unquote bank to send money in. You send your funds into circles bank. And that money will stay with them under your name. So it's something like an FBO account, if you will. And for that amount, you can get e immediately by press of a button, you can get the equivalent in USDC issued. So what happens is rather than settling, let's say you want to settle with an MTO in Philippines, the MTO in Philippines can also open an account with Circle. And now what you do is you simply change the USDC from your account into their account, which happens instantly. And you know you don't need to pre-fund, you don't need to have a rotational cycle for your exposure of funds, etc. And the MTO partner in Philippines will pay out. A lot of companies have started taking advantage of this thing, looking at Circle and saying, you know, hey, at the end of the day, we all want to get paid in US dollars. If we all want to get paid in US dollars, then the best way is to open an account with Circle. So a whole lot of money services businesses are opening an account with Circle. Circle is a licensed MSP. So from a audit viewpoint or an audit standpoint, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, they're, they're good. They have a banking relationship. But if you want to take advantage of USDC for a payment internally, then you must be licensed. There is a caveat to this statement. If you are, let's say, <clears throat> moving funds via USDC from uh, the state of New York, uh, to let's say Philippines and you're providing it the USDC to uh, empty out in Philippines the question comes do you need a bit license there's a divided opinion on this thing some people say you don't need a bit license because you know the bit the USDC is already issued by an issuer that has a bit license i.e circle some people say no but you are taking custody of funds uh, from circle so now you are incumbent that you need to have a bit license well, I am on the camp that says you need a bit license. A lot of people say, uh, all, you know, otherwise they say you don't need a bit license. But anyways, why is this important? The, the reason this is important is because think of it, Circle as becoming a clearing bank. Not only is it a clearing bank, it's, it's willing to open accounts for MSBs over there. As long as you have a Circle account, you can get a bank account with Circle as well as the issuance and acceptance redemption and issuance of USDC. So how do you take that into advantage for you? Well, if you're an MSP in, in, let's say, Florida, you have an account. If you're an MSP in Philippines, you have an account. If you're an MSP in Estonia, you have an account. And now you can settle amongst yourselves right there and then in its circle and with the guarantee that you're getting a USDC, which is the equivalent of a dollar, and you can instantly redeem it to fiat. And when you redeem it to fiat, Circle will actually push the funds out via Swift or ACH anywhere in the world to your title account of your name. And a lot of companies are taking advantage of it. What's the risk on this thing? Well, obviously the risk is, you know, if Circle decides not to do it tomorrow or if your uh, audit or your state regulator says, you know what, we see this as an exposure into cryptocurrencies and you're not allowed to do it, well, they may forbid you from you know, participating or partaking in such a scheme. And also there is the risk of you losing access to banking. Your bank can say, hey, you know, we decided to give you a license with the explicit instruction that you would not go into crypto. And now you've branched out into crypto or you've branched out into an area that we didn't approve prior. And so hence you can lose access to banking, etc. It hasn't happened so far. It may, but I feel that given Circle's very good record of being a well-regulated, well-oiled money transmitter license holder and, you know, uh, taking care of all the uh, legal and compliance issues at hand, I don't think it's going to become an issue. A, what is the biggest benefit? I think the biggest benefit will come from pre-funding and settlement. 
So an, an, a money transfer operator across the world can open an account with Circle. A money transfer operator across the world can have access to USDC instantly. They can settle that USDC on their local exchange if they have one. They can settle it on a regional exchange if they have one, or they can simply settle it in their USDC account with Circle. So if I am a money transfer operator out of Texas, and there is a money transfer operator out of, let's say, Philippines, and we both have account in Circle, I have uploaded my funds in Fiat. I get a USDC for, let's say, $10,000. You are going to pay out $10,000, but you don't have those funds because I've not pre-funded you. And what will happen is I will instantly transfer my USDC into your account. Now you have the money and you will do a payout. There are companies that are actually providing credit or short-term loans against this thing as well. There are quite a few. Uh, a lot of companies from Nigeria have come into this business. There are a few European operators who are also doing this thing. One or two American operators are also coming into the thing where they're saying, listen, rather than you even loading the 10,000 and then you're waiting for the transactions to happen, because even remember, they're using the American banking network. And when you load money from the banking network onto that platform, it takes time. So in this case, you know, short term companies come in and say, hey, you know what, we're going to give a loan out. We're going to give a loan out to you because you actually made a wire transfer on Monday. It won't be settled until, let's say, Friday or, or you know, or, I don't know, Wednesday or what have you. But we already have an account with Circle. We'll all already issue a USDC and you can settle. So this is happening. If you're new to something like this, I'm, you know, I, I would encourage you to read it. I'm going to include a link in this video description below. I'll probably will have this video done by the time this video goes live. And it will show you what the flow of funds like of this would look like in the greater scheme of things. As always, if you have a question or a comment, please don't hesitate to ask. This is Fessel Khan, signing out.